Hello YouTube! This is an alcohol review of Captain Morgan Sliced Apple. Now I'm not sure where you guys are from, but this is a new product on the shelf. I presume seasonal. And it is, at the taping of this particular review, it is fall. So it is very fitting to have apple now. As for being in our rum, well, we'll see how that works out. This is a spiced rum. Uh, cut by Captain, distilled for the crew. Ha ha ha, so across the top there. I like the fact that the label is, even though it is one piece, they fell short with the printing you feel with the texture, and it keeps on going down. This is all one label itself, but it has a thin in there to give a look as if it was cut. I cut my teeth in marketing and advertising for many, many years, and little things like that just still thrill me to death. Don't know why, but it just does. This is apple spiced rum, according to the label. So I'm slowly losing my vision. 35% alcohol by volume, premium rum with natural apple flavor, spice, and other natural flavors. I always pause when they say flavors because you're not sure whether or not or what it is that gives it that flavor. It may not actually be apple. Hmm. Crisp taste. Temptingly crisp taste, according to the top of the lid. Being another clever idea. Wow. You can smell the apple. Very much a green apple. Just by pouring it in my glass. So is a green apple, just apple, just a sliced apple. Alrighty then. This is what we get. It is. It is a yellow with a slight green hue. Ever, ever so slight green hue. Geez, I wafts over them too right here. It's about two and a half feet away from me. Come on. Show me. Show it to me. Okay, it runs almost immediately. And it runs hard. Strong legs, strong tears, whatever terminology you want to use. There's a lot of it, and really fast. Bam, right there. Coming down like rain. Wow. It smells just like a green apple from the store. Yep. As if you literally just cut a green apple with a knife. There is a slight, ever so slight burn to the nose. And ever so slight with the spices of the rum itself. But it's so overwhelming of the apple that you have to really dig deep to find those uh, those rum the, the rum spices. And it covers over the um, the alcohol burn in the nose. That is not what I expected. Not at all what I expected. That is... Yeah. I expected, because I've, I've had spice rums and other flavored rums similar to this vein in which you get so much of the uh, flavor. I know that, that that makes no sense. Try it this way. There is so much of what the label is telling you brought out in the distilled solution itself 
that you lose everything else. So where, like in, in this case, it's apple spice rum. I'm expecting from other samples of other flavors in the past to get mostly apple with a hint of rum. Barely any spices, but mostly getting knocked down with the flavor on the bottle. In this case, I'm not getting that. Uh, I was even thinking I was going to get a hard cider, or especially a green tart cider with hints of rum in this. That's just so overwhelming, you don't even realize you're drinking rum or bourbon or whatever you know that the label tells you about because it's such a strong flavor I'm not getting that at all with this I'm getting a little apple like a very tame cider excuse me a very tame 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 cider that has a slight heavy mouthfeel. There is um, a heaviness on it that is from the spices, from like the, the, the vanilla and all those other bits and bobs that you throw into the rum. And it's competing and neutralizing the apple. And it kind of leaves you with a very bland midtone. So if you're and, and and the very end, there's a bit of a a slight bite, a slight bitterness from the alcohol. It has quite a long hang time to it, but it's just there, there, there's not enough apple to really come out as a nice strong apple flavor and there's not enough rum to give you a nice rum flavor they meet in the middle and just sit there and have lunch that's the best thing I can I just describe it the two strong flavors smash in the middle and don't go anywhere it's a good thought I was kind of curious about this. And like I said, I've, I've had uh, bourbons and other rums where they talk about, oh, it's cinnamon or it's chocolate or it's something else. And it's such an overwhelming of that particular taste. It wipes out the bourbon or the rum. I thought that would be with this. And it's not. They literally bump each other in the middle of the field and lay down so I see the kumbaya. There's nothing outstanding. They blend together so much that you don't get any rum out of it, or hardly any any rum, hardly any spices, or hardly any apple. I mean, it smells like you know, you're pouring yourself cider. But that's really all I, I can give her, is it's got a fantastic apple nose. It's a nice sipping. I can see putting, you know, uh, a small ice cube in it, just to cool it down. And, you know, have a sip while watching the leaves change, but that's only because it's it's not offensive. As for you know, when you come back to it again and again and again, well, maybe to actually pour this into some actual cider to help uh, jazz up the the cider. But as a, a standalone sipper, mm, it doesn't exactly rock my world. It's not terrible, but it doesn't exactly stand off on the stand up off the shelf and dives into my glass. But it has a great nose, if you like apples. Try it, see what you guys think. I could be way off on this. It is Captain Morgan Sliced Apple. Any comments down below about this particular product, as always, warmly accepted. Or better yet, go out, buy it, try it, do a review on the YouTube, so us in the YouTube Spears community can see your thoughts on this particular product, Captain Morgan Sliced Apple, and get your opinion. Maybe maybe I'm way off. Maybe uh, you guys get great apple and great rum, where I just get bland. But I, like I said, I've been wrong in the past. 
We'll be wrong again in the future. Until next time, keep on drinking. <laughs>